everyone, my name is Noelle Monroe and I am a second grade teacher. I just finished up my first year of teaching, so I'll be going into my second year. And although there's a lot of unexpected things going on in our world, especially what the classroom will look like, I have been collecting some little treasures and shopping for my classroom in hopes that we will be able to go back. So today I just wanted to show you some of the things that I have found and do a little haul for you. So let's get started. So I wanted to start with the things that I ordered off Amazon and I'm really excited about my big ticket item that I found and it is a miniature laminator and it's called, it's by Scotch and it's the Pro Thermal Laminator and what I love about it is it's ne it never jams and it's supposed to protect items from damage better than your laminators at your school would. So um, it's pretty small. I actually have it right here. It looks like this and it has this little tray right here. It's very easy to set up. You just plug it into the wall and then you pull up this tray and it comes out. It actually has instructions for you. And you just simply press the power button and then you can also buy the pouches that go with it off of Amazon. And they look like this. I got the 200 pack, so it'll last me quite a while. And this one, this laminator was 40 bucks, I think. And the pouches were probably around $28, which this will give me a lot of good use for them. And like I said, I love that it doesn't jam. Um, the next item that I ordered off Amazon was something that I had a need for since the beginning of last school year but I never found one that I really liked so it's sort of like uh, I don't really know what you would call this it's like a filing a mini filing cabinet but um, you actually assemble it yourself so when you order it it comes all flat and it's collapsible so it's really easy um, to carry around and what I like to do is store my students paperwork um, if we're doing like a benchmark for a grade or something like that. I like to put it where I can see all of theirs. And also, I ordered these jewel toned file folders and they just slide in here perfectly. So they're different colors, which I like too, because who knows with the new block system that could come in handy as well. So that's actually all I ordered off of Amazon. Next, we have Target, which I'm not even gonna lie. When I walk in Target and they have, they put the teacher dollar section right there for a reason. And it's, it's just my weakness. So I have a lot from Target and most of it is from the dollar section. So I'm just gonna grab stuff out of the bag and see what it is. Okay, so these are their dry erase word strips. And in second grade, we do word work a lot, so I just, write the words of the week on these things and thankfully this one's dry erase so we'll see how well it works but I'm excited to use these um, next was this um, magnetic I think it's for holding markers and you can put like the erasers in there too for the whiteboards I'm always losing markers in the classroom so this will be handy to just stick on the actual whiteboard so that they're right there Next, I got these really cute paper accents. They're like little activities. And I was thinking this would be a great beginning of the year activity to do with my students. It's kind of like an all about me that they can color. And I thought it was a cute way just to get to know them in the beginning of the year. So I got some of those. Um, erasers are something that we lose a lot as well. So I grabbed some of those. And then these are little name tags that say, hello, my name is, and then they get to write their name there. I thought that would be cute just for the first week of school. Everybody's new, so just getting to know them, that would be a helpful way to do that. Next, I love stickers. <laughs> so I cannot tell you how excited I was when I found these. I like to put stickers on their work. Um, if they did an exceptional job on their homework or a paper I'm grading, I put these stickers on their work. So I got some of those. And then I also got some for myself for just my planner 
Um, I like to use cute little stickers like that, so I got that. And then, so this is just like for decoration, but I saw this and I just couldn't pass it up. It's this little letter and it was only $3 and I thought it would be helpful to put folders into on my desk. So I had to get that and I love the gold. Um, pencils. I got these really cute pencils that say different things like this one says never give up, kindness is cool, stay sharp. They have cute little sayings on them. Um, and then these are have little rainbows on them, so I thought they were really cute. So I got those. And then I got a bunch of these little boxes. I'm not completely sure what I'm going to use these for. I think what I want to do is put task cards in them that I use um, or flashcards because we definitely use a lot of addition and subtraction facts, so I might do that with those. We'll see. Um, I did get some dices and these ones are kind of different because they're they're almost like triangle ones instead of square faces so I thought that was interesting and we use these for games like a lot of math games in class and I'm always losing these as well and then I thought these were really cool um, they're massive paper clips they're huge binder clips and one says to do the white one says to do and then the black one just says stuff. And I am a sucker for organization, stuff like that. So I also got some more that have, um, that say tomorrow, yesterday, or just organization little words on them. So got that too. All right, and there's still more. <laughs> um, my next item, I was really happy to find these actually, because these are, gonna help with writing a lot I think um, it's it just says my book of stories and I got three packs of these because there are eight in each one and they were only three dollars so I thought this would be a really neat thing once we start doing um, biographies in writing that they can have fun with and write their own stories so I thought it was really cute and it even has a line for them to write their name on as the author so I'm excited to use those and I also grabbed some name tags and what I love about these name tags is that it has the whole entire alphabet it has the numbers on your left hand and right hand and it also has shapes and in second grade believe it or not I have a lot of students that struggle with writing their D's and B's backwards so this is super helpful for my students who struggle with that just as a guide. Um, this right here, oh yeah, these are reward certificates. And I thought they were really cute because they each have something on them. So like most likely to brighten your day. Um, this one is a kind classmate. This one celebrates um, a class mathlete. So they all have really unique um, rewards on them. And I think this will just really encourage students and help them to get excited about learning. So I grabbed those as well. And I got some white out because that's an essential for me. Um, I also got these. These are, they're dry erase pocket holders. So you can put paper in them and then you can reuse the paper after you take it out. So I thought this would be good for math centers and I got like six of them. So I think this will be good for small group instruction, especially to use in the classroom. And then we're almost to the end. I, when I saw this, I, I wasn't exactly sure if I would be able to use it, but I just had to get it anyway because it's so cute. So it's like one of those little pictures that you hold up and I thought it would be a cute picture prop for students to use if they do get to come into the classroom. It says first day of school and then you flip it over and it says last day of school. So I grabbed that. Um, these were something that I actually found at a different Target and they are like little pencils and it helps students read one line at a time. And I thought these were really cute because you could also use them as bookmarks. There are 10 in each pack and they were only a dollar. 
but I like it because it highlights one sentence at a time for them and it helps them focus on that one sentence, which a lot of my little readers like to rush through books. So I think this will help them slow down and help with their fluency as well. So I grabbed some of those. Um, these I've been looking for for quite a while. These are schedule cards. And so I actually went ahead and laminated a, ooh, a couple of them with my new laminator. So that was fun. But uh, they have the different subjects and then they also have the other side for the time that you have those so this will help keep us on track in the classroom including myself and then I got bulletin border um, just some stars our theme our school-wide theme is superheroes this year so I thought that would be cute to put up in the hall to display their work and then I got this arrow pointer and I use this to teach word work I think I would use this to teach word work, but it's just a little pointer and it's rubber. So I thought that was cute. And then last thing that I got is a huge dry erase activity. They call it an activity blotter, but it's pretty much just different charts that you can use um, for small group or whole group because I think they're pretty big. And there's a bunch of different ones. There's like Venn diagrams, there's just charts that you can use, arrows, and I know that you could use this for um, writing, you could use this for social studies or science, um, just anything where you're having to group subjects or topics. So I really think this will be helpful, especially um, we use Venn diagrams a lot in the classroom. So I think this will be another useful thing that I can use, hopefully. All right, that's all I got from Target. So the next place I went to was Dollar Tree, and Dollar Tree actually does have a teacher corner, which depending on the Dollar Tree you go to is really important because some don't have a whole lot, but the one I went to actually really surprised me with some good stuff. So the first thing that I found there were these reading highlighters, kind of similar to the ones at Target, except these ones have really fun patterns and prints on them. And honestly, any excuse to get my students to make reading more fun for them, I will take it because I think these will help them get excited to read. Um, and we're really learning on, or we're really trying to teach them reading engagement. So I think that'll help them. Um, this was not in the teacher spot, but I did find a little dust broom and it's sort of like the perfect size. And I have so many accidents happening in the classroom, whether it be during snack time or with the pencil um, sharpener spills. And I have a lot of students who are always ready to help. And I think this would be the perfect tool to help them do that. So I grabbed one of those. And then this is completely just because I saw this and I was like, I need to get these because they are adorable. They're like those mini little cups. And I feel like I just want to use them. Um, there's this book called Jitter Juice. I don't know if you guys have heard of it, but we do a little beginning of the school activity with it. And I think it'd be so cute to put the little juice cups in, or the juice in these cups. And it's just really cute. So I grabbed those. Um, clothespins are another essential that I use in the classroom. I actually use them to display their work on the walls. I just clip their paper onto, I glue the clothespin to the back of the cardboard paper and or hard stock paper and then it makes displaying their work really easy and this is a pack of 36 for a dollar so you really can't beat that um next I got these little activity papers and it's explore the world around you and it has a spot for them to do some writing inside I'm actually going to be doing the planning for social studies this year and we have a unit that I think this would be perfect for so I grabbed those. Um, I also went to the book section and I found these coloring books and one is just called peaceful getaways like really cool views and then this one is a 
word, a bunch of word puzzles. And then the last one is another coloring book um, with a lot of detail. And I have a lot of little artists in my class. And I also have had this idea to create sort of like in social emotional corner just for them to calm down in if something happens and they get upset i think that these are a great activity to get them back to where they need to be so i grabbed these and i think i'm gonna try that out this year and see how it goes and then the last thing i got was an after school care chart so you can't really see the whole thing but it, it opens up into a bigger um, piece of paper and it has two pieces that say how we go home and then one is the chart where you can put all their names to show um, who's going home and how they are getting home which is super super important so that is all the things that I got from Dollar Tree my next stop was Walmart and I really didn't get a whole lot at Walmart but I'll just go sh ahead and show you the few items that I did get. So the first one is a chalkboard flag banner. And I thought this was really neat because, well, I kind of want to test it out just to see what it did. What? Next stop I made was to Walmart. And I really didn't get a whole lot there, but I'll go ahead and show you the few items that I did. The first one is just a chalkboard flag banner. And I think this will be really cute to display in the classroom or really out in the hallway. Um, so I'm excited to try it out. And then the next item are these really cute little buckets that I can use for storage. I could actually also use these to put extra pencils in. Uh, I usually have a container that says sharp and dull. So it makes it easier for them to grab a sharp one um, and not have to use the sharpener during the day. So I'll probably use those for that. And then the last thing I got were just a good old pair of scissors. And Fiskars is my favorite brand for teacher scissors because I am grabbing scissors for the most random things all day. And so I would highly recommend these. These are great ones. And then the last store that I went to is actually a teacher store called Teacher's Spot. And it is in Greenville County. I don't know if it's anywhere else around the state, but they have a lot of neat things there. And I went ahead and I got a bulletin board um, kit. Like I said, our theme this school year is superheroes. So that's our school-wide theme. So outside of our classroom, we have to decorate it with that theme in mind. So I went ahead and just grabbed this one and I'm gonna have to figure out a cute little saying to write in the cloud above it, but I thought this was just, it just made the perfect backdrop for a superhero theme. So I grabbed that and I got a couple posters there um, to use in the classroom. So the first one is just this giant piece of paper and these are actually wipe off so you can reuse them and I use um, for writing I use modeling with on the whiteboard normally and so I'm gonna definitely be putting this to good use for writing workshop and then I also grabbed the same kind of wipe off one except in a clock version and telling time is a huge skill that second graders have to learn um, to the minute and to the hour and so we spent a lot of time on that unit in math so I'm definitely gonna put this to good use and then last we have the good old Venn diagram and I use this for reading writing I mean you name it so this will be another very useful chart and then the last item that I got from the teacher spot is a it's actually a substitute teacher folder and to be honest, I probably could have made something like this, but it is just really nifty in that it has pretty much everything that a sub would need. I actually didn't have the opportunity to um, have to get a sub. I didn't get sick my first year, thankfully. But I know that if I did, I would want to have something like this just to make it a lot easier on the sub because it has a spot that you can write your daily schedule in. 
it has um, on the inside it has a lot of more helpful information and then you can also put the lesson plans in there. And then on the back it also has some important people that they should know, notes, and then dismissal times. So I really liked the layout of this, so I went ahead and grabbed that as well. Well, that I think covers it all. That's everything I got. And like I said, I am a second year teacher. So thankfully I didn't have to get too many things this year, but I'm really glad about the finds that I made. So thanks for watching.